Coach, we've reached the final week of the regular season, and it'll be a busy Sunday in Varsity Gym. You've got Campbell at 2 p.m., Presbyterian at 4 p.m., then Davidson at 6 p.m. I guess if we can start off, certainly Campbell and App have battled it out for conference championships for several years in a row now. Both are undefeated in the conference. Um, if you can just offer a little bit of a preview of what to expect, maybe, I guess, at first off in that first duel. Yeah, I mean, that first one's going to be really important. Uh, you know, I mean, we've we've got a, uh, you know, a really good team coming in here. You know, Campbell and, and us have, you know, we've been competing for the conference championship. You know, it's came down to one of us, to, one of our two programs uh, every year for the last seven years. And so, uh, you know, it's uh, it's going to be a big match. Uh, you know, obviously we got that rivalry. Uh, you know, they're going to. They're going to come in here, give us their best shot, and and I think hopefully our guys are going to be ready for the, for the occasion as well, um, you know. But uh, yeah, we're excited for the opportunity we have in front of us to uh, compete for another conference championship. And just as you noted, just the history between these programs, it's often a lot of intense matches, close matches. What do you think kind of gives this rivalry that little bit of an edge and the competitiveness that it's had? <laughs> Well, I think if you look at the last seven years, you know, Campbell has really invested a lot of resources in the sport of wrestling and, and they elevated themselves as a program, um, you know, and that's kind of how they've kind of risen to a rival for us. I mean, uh, you know, obviously when they first started growing in the conference, we were the team that, that everybody was looking to that, that wanted that they wanted to compete with. And so I think they circled us as a rival that they wanted, um, you know, and they've they've really developed their program. They got a good team, you know, for the last six, seven years. They've had a really competitive team, and so I think being that that you know traditionally the last six seven years that that we've been the top two teams in the conference that that rivalries kind of lend itself to uh, you know some hostile environments, uh, you know very competitive atmospheres, and and obviously some very passionate fan bases that uh, you know want to see. Uh, the other team beat, beat the other. And uh, so we're excited about that. I think it's good for the sport of wrestling. I think it's good for our university, uh, having them at home here, uh, you know, for a duel to decide the conference championship for, for the regular season. And, uh, you know, I'm sure they're going to bring some fans and uh, it'll be a rowdy atmosphere. And, uh, you know, if you don't have anything to do on Sunday afternoon at 2 o'clock, I would definitely recommend coming to Boone and, and being part of that atmosphere. What's kind of the basic message you've had for your team this week in terms of knowing the stakes but also not making it bigger than what it is? I mean, it's been no different. I mean, our guys know. I mean, I don't have to say anything. I mean, they know that, that Campbell's, you know, for the conference championship. Uh, I, you know, we really haven't really talked about that a lot. Um, you know, we really kind of just – you know, the message is the same each and every week. You know, we tell our guys that we've got to be the best, you know, the best version of ourselves. Last time we competed was uh, two weekends ago against Chattanooga. And, uh, you know, our, our focus has only been trying to be better than we were that weekend. You know, and I think if we focus on that, keep it simple, uh, you know, I think hopefully we'll have a consistent performance. And then, you know, we got to remember that we also have two matches after that that are also going to have very important matches in them against Presbyterian Davidson for conference seating. Um, so we can't get so locked in on one match that, that uh, it, it, it's a distraction. We just got to focus on ourselves and uh, make sure we're ready to bring the fight, make sure we're ready to give our best effort, and I think the rest of it will take care of itself. Certainly wrestling doubleheaders isn't that rare. Guys wrestle in tournaments and wrestle, you know, five and six times a day. Is there anything different uh, challenge-wise of just having such a, a busy uh, Sunday with three different duels? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we've definitely wrestled double duels in the past. This is the first time I can remember that we've had three duels back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back, um, in varsity uh, in a long time. And, uh, you know, obviously with the implications of the Campbell match, uh, you know, that kind of adds to the uh, – you know, I guess the uh, atmosphere and the importance of, of Sunday, but we'll weigh in really no different than what we'd normally do. We're going to weigh in a bunch of extra guys, just, uh, you know, three three matches in a day. It's not that much for our guys to go through, not, not that different from a tournament, but, uh, you know, we'll weigh in some extra guys, you know, just to have guys ready just in case there's, you know, illness, injury, sickness, stuff like that, to make sure we can cover all the weights for all three duels. Uh, but other than that, really nothing changes. Um. Team-wise, um, new set of rankings come out. You're 20th in the coaches' poll, as high as 16 in one of the team polls. And then, you know, the same cast of characters and the individual rankings with uh, Ethan Oakley now scratching uh, ranked in the flow rankings of just kind of analyze, you know, what your uh, interpretations are of just him, him joining that group. Yeah, I think it's uh, great. It's a testament to uh, Ethan and the kind of uh, consistency he's had since he became our starter uh, in – 
early January. Um, but but our team's you know been consistent all year. Uh, we've had a couple of really good wins and, and some consistent performances. And I think it's it's just good for our our university and this program to be recognized as one of the top uh, you know 16 to 20 uh, ranked programs in the in the entire country. And I think that speaks to a lot of groundwork that's been laid by our alumni, our donors, our administration. Um, you know, it's, it's taken a lot of people to, to kind of elevate this program to where we're, where we're at today. And, uh, you know, our, our uh, excitement and, and uh, you know, opportunity that lays ahead of us uh, for the rest of the season is to, you know, maybe achieve some new heights that this program's never done. And just last thing you mentioned, you know, people to come out on Sunday. What does it mean to have, you know, a big crowd with vocal fans and, you know, especially I think urging people to come early too. What does that mean for your guys when they compete in varsity gym? Well, it means a ton. I mean, our our dual meet atmosphere is one of the best in the country, and and I think that our guys feed off of that energy, uh, and our fans. I mean, it's like a really really exciting environment. So, you know, we encourage you to be out. Uh, you know, Sunday we're going to need you. We're going to need everybody from App Nation to show up, uh, show up early. Uh, make sure you, you you're there and and ready to cheer on this team. And you know, more importantly, uh, you know, it's it's a outstanding event, but. You know, it has implications to compete for a conference championship. So hopefully, you know, even if you're not a, a you know, a typical wrestling uh, fan, you know, if, you, if you're if you an Appalachian State fan, we encourage you to come out Sunday and, and help cheer on this team to uh, try to win another conference championship.